In today's video in astrology, Mercury Retrograde, September 2021. Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about Mercury retrograde. And it just entered the retrograde cycle on September 27th, 2021. This will be the third and final retrograde cycle in 2021. So September's retrograde cycle goes from September 27th to right around October 18th of 2021. So what does that mean for you? Well, passionate astrologers, passionate people that are into astrology and beginners alike have all talked about Mercury retrograde. It's all over the news. It's in every single column. Uh, it's in every genre of magazine. Um, Mercury retrograde is, is just a buzzword. But what does it really mean? Well, Mercury is the planet of communication. We all know that. And Mercury was the messenger of the gods in ancient times. So anything to do with communications, obviously, will be affected in some way. The current Mercury retrograde cycle is in the sign of Libra. So we started Libra on the 22nd, which is the sun in Libra, but Mercury is now retrograde in Libra. So what does that mean? Well, generally speaking, uh, a Libra planet is all about balance. Um, so placed with Mercury, which is communications and how you handle and maneuver your environment and how you speak with others and your expression. So with Libra, there tends to be indecision because of the ability to weigh both sides and even all sides of an equation. So definitely expect a lot of indecision and it will be very, very slow too. Very slow. Libra is not a sign that hurries anything. So Librans like to deliberate uh, and they like to take things very slowly and see every angle. Now this particular Mercury cycle for the retrograde is a late degree of Libra uh, and it's close to Scorpio. So there can be a, a sort of a critical or cutting edge to it. So depending on uh, whether you're looking at Mercury retrograde from a global or global perspective or worldly perspective in shutting down or slowing down all of our technology, right? Our phones, our computers, um, schedules, travel, everything can be, there can be a monkey wrench thrown into that. But if you look at it from a more personal point of view, depending on where that Libra falls in your chart, and if you're a sun in Libra, or if you have Libra rising, or a, a strong uh, emphasis anywhere near that degree, there will be a lot of emphasis on balance, justice, and decision making for you. So you'll probably just want to take it lay low, don't sign any contracts, don't do any major medical procedures. I know everyone says that, every astrologer says that, um, but just generally speaking, that's, that's uh, good advice and uh, you want to do things on your own terms and make the decision when it's right. It represents communication, decision making, short trips. So the Mercury retrograde is all about tuning into some of your old projects or old people in your life that may be circulating around you again or like an orbit. Like if you're the sun, they might be orbiting around you, right? So you may need to revisit some old things and fine tune them before you move forward. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. And you wanna look at what, what you can do to be fortunate, right? Anything that you can, uh, anything you were working on that this isn't the right time and you wanna find the right time so that you can move forward and make a good solid decision. So right now with the cosmic weather, including Mercury, there's approximately eight points in the solar chart that are retrograde. That's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of emphasis on stationary motion and really taking the time 
to stop and process. You know, in this society, we're always busy doing, right? We're always doing, 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 producing, and we forget about being, and we forget about stopping, just stopping and just processing what actually it is that we're doing. And are we in fact producing anything that's of value? If you're watching astrology videos or you're reading columns or blogs, you're gonna hear a lot of astrologers talk about that retrograde Mercury uh, making certain aspects. And particularly it's gonna be hitting Pluto, uh, which is in Capricorn. And that is a very interesting kind of matchup because Libra and Capricorn are square in the zodiac and those are cardinal signs. So I would think the best advice for all of us during this Mercury time till late October um, would be be very careful and not to have an overly rigid, critical, and judgmental view of your family and friends and those around you right now. And, <laughs> and don't make any serious decisions, especially if you're in that frame of mind, if you're feeling very judgmental and rigid, critical, uh, or if you want things perfect. You know, things are never perfect. It doesn't mean you shouldn't strive uh, for as close as you want it to be perfect. But with Mercury and Pluto there doing that dance and uh, with the indecision there, especially in the next month, I would not expect perfection. In fact, I would expect people doing videos like myself, you're gonna do a lot of takes. If you're writing, you're gonna do a lot of editing. You're gonna look for, you're not gonna have the right words. Um, so that's gonna be very common. So just roll with it, enjoy it. And if you can, figure out where that Libra is in your natal chart. Well, this was just a quick overview of the current Mercury retrograde in September to October 2021. This is Jeff. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And stay with Astro Scoop, where I give you the real scoop on astrology. Until the next one, stay safe and be yourself. So the current Mercury... Bleh. The current Mercury... Bleh.